Hi everyone, I think the other presentation is still ongoing, so we will uh, start slowly because this one is an interesting uh, presentation. And, uh, you know, the marketing strapline for this is turning trash into treasure. So, you know, in reality, upcycling sort of waste graphene stream into high quality graphene uh, using a rapid process. Um, and I think if, for those of you who were here yesterday, you would have heard the name uh, a couple of times mentioned. Um, including the presenter from Ford was saying that this is a, a very interesting technology. Um, so the stage is yours. You have about 20 minutes uh, to present. Two minutes, almost two minutes before the end of your time. If I think you're overrunning, I'll come back in and give you the heads up. Um, and then the audience, please don't be shy. Please type in your questions on the right hand side as, as is usual by now uh, with us. So without any further delay, uh, John, you can, uh, you can start. Thank you, Kasia. Thanks for the introduction. And uh, yeah, I look forward to sharing our uh, story uh, of Universal Matter. So we, uh, you know, I, the title it tells you, but we are essentially upcycling uh, waste carbon streams into graphene and we use electricity to do this. So this is a story I'll tell and how we now have uh, showed how, this, how well this works in different applications. Um, we're, uh, you know, we're a two year old company. We were started in 2019, I guess three years by now. Um, 19 people in two different locations. We just uh, moved into uh, our new building on the left in Burlington, Ontario, uh, which is where our headquarters is, our labs and our demonstration plant. And um, the right is our, our uh, facility, our lab in Houston, Texas. Um, so our vision is uh, to produce, you know, the highest quality and most economical graphene using simple carbon ingredients uh, that will help us dramatically reduce our human footprint. It's very much, uh, we see graphene as a, a huge play for the circular economy. We think it's an enabler for this. And we believe that uh, we need to move away from graphite as the feedstock. And that's what we're uh, all about. I don't need to go over this because I'm sure you've heard uh, all about graphene in the other presentations. Thinnest, largest, strongest, stiffest, all these other good things. It is truly a wonder material and, um, you know, which we're, we're finding as we're using it in different applications. Um, the graphene market is, is forecasted to become very, very large, especially I think if the economics get, uh, adjust, adjusted, but, uh, today we're limited basically because of high price, um, in some cases, questionable quality, and certainly the development cycles are still quite long, but, um, you know, there are now quite a few companies, uh, globally involved in this space. And certainly what we're seeing is a lot of large companies are, are interested in, in, in getting samples testing and, and and in some cases we're in quite advanced uh, stages of product development with them um the challenge really for the graphene industry has been that uh, it's highly dependent on graphite in in almost every case there are some exceptions but mostly people use graphite as the as the base material um to make the graphene from the graphite you require lots of chemicals and some cases harsh chemicals lots of water and energy and, um, and then typically you have to ball mill it to get it to, uh, to uh, layers and, and size that's uh, interesting. And this introduces defects and impurities, which is not desirable. So if you look at it from a manufacturing perspective first, um, really there, there are two ways to go. You can make it as a film or you can make it as a powder. The film approach is used with chemical vapor deposition, uses methane, uh, which is high cost still. We don't do this. And uh, graphene powder, as I just mentioned, is ma mostly made from graphite through, through exfoliation. So taking the deck of cards and trying to get the cards out of the deck, really, is what it's all about. It has limitations. Um, you know, generally, it's still high cost. The yields are, in some cases, low. Uh, often, you have more than 10 layers, which is not desirable. And then you typically are dealing with only a sheet uh, structure morphology, only sheets of graphene. And I've already mentioned the, the defects and impurities and the processes generally are chemically, um, are environmentally unfriendly. By contrast, we have a bottoms up approach. So we, even though we start with carbon sources, um, our invention, which is flash dual heating, allows us to convert these carbon waste materials, carbon streams into a beautiful graphene uh, morph uh, morphologies, not just flakes, but also polyhedral morphologies. And this is a much lower cost approach. It gives very good yields. It generally gives us uh, uh, graphenes with less than 